Hello from Susie and me. The headlines from Lookies tonight. Staff terror at this business park as a gunman holds them hostage over an unpaid bill. At last, Felix Doe finally gets its special end of the peer show. A gang appears in court accused of a half million pound car scam. And baby Oscar sparks a dramatic scrum at the big match where mum Karen couldn't wait for the final whistle. Hello, staff at a business park in Hertfordshire were held hostage for three hours today after a gunman went into their offices making threats. It happened in the village of Stansted Abbots to the west of Harlow. The business park is called the Maltings. The alarm was raised at half past ten. The premises were surrounded by the police and the area sealed off. A news blackout was requested while negotiations took place with the hostage taker. Then, just before 1.30, the man gave himself up. Nobody was hurt. Let's go live to Stansted Abbots now and our reporter, Gareth George. As you can see, police officers are still on duty here this evening. This is the Maltings, an old building split into lots of little business units. It's the base for scores of small businesses. And today, one of those businesses was at the centre of a siege. This photograph was taken by an eyewitness on his mobile. Armed police cover an alleyway close to the office of a clothing company called Team Colours Limited. The drama happened just below Steve Green's office window. We saw a lot of armed policemen walking through the corridor and they were clearly um, you know, fully geared up. They had vests, goggles, helmets and you could clearly see the guns and they were rifle type guns as opposed to handguns. Children at a neighbouring school were kept in their classrooms. Our priority throughout the whole of the police operation was public safety and thankfully no one was injured. The premises itself is now being searched. Those involved are being interviewed by specialist officers who will obtain a full account of what has happened. The siege went on for three hours before it came to what police described as a peaceful conclusion. He just put me head out to find out what was going on and the marksman told me to get, get me head back in the window. So I was watching it all out the window going on. As other eyewitness photos show, police dog units were called in too. Eventually though, the man and the three women were led away. Um, the first of three was crying quite considerably, um, but again I only saw her for a few seconds as she walked past the window. Um, the other two were more obviously upset but not crying to the same extent um, and they were led away and were seen by other people not myself out on the street afterwards and were with family members we assume um, but they seemed okay tonight a 45 year old from luton is being questioned on suspicion of false imprisonment gareth we know he's 45 do we know anything more about him well, we know a little bit more about him, Stuart. The people who work here say they dealt with him every day. He was a regular here at the Maltings, and they say he, he was a happy-go-lucky type of guy. I spoke to one business that he'd popped into just before this incident took place, and they said he seemed, he seemed fine. So people here just simply can't understand what happened today and as i said he's now being questioned on suspicion of false imprisonment there's still a police presence here today the investigation goes on and they'll be trying to establish exactly why what happened happened because the people who work here are completely baffled by what's gone on and also it was a very scary experience for them too to suddenly have all those armed police uh, drop in on, on the maltings here. Gareth, thank you very much.